Mystic Rainbow Tarot. Thank you for joining me today for another tarot reading and thank you for supporting this channel. So let's go over to the table and do the reading now. Hi there, I'm at the table now. So this is a requested reading about Justin Bieber and his wife Hayley. So shuffle the cards and see how Justin feels about married life these days. How does Justin feel about married life to his wife Hayley right now? going on with Justin in his marriage and how he feels about it. Justin, ooh, dropping the cards, Justin and his feelings within his marriage. And Drew Bieber. How's he feeling towards his marriage at the moment? So, oh dear, right. So, first card is the Eight of Swords. Not the greatest card to get. Um, so it feels like he's a bit stuck in a rut and as you can see the person on the card feels like they're tied up um, so it's sort of like a restrained feeling in some way kind of like you can't do what you want to do sort of thing it's kind of like that sort of feeling this doesn't mean he wants to get a divorce. It just means he does feel stagnant. Things I think with these two, like communication. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think he's. He's perhaps not um, being heard or voicing his opinion about things maybe to um maybe he doesn't want to um rock the boat too much or something but that's not a great feeling um to feel like that um tied up and stagnant and yeah that that's not great so oh these two are reversed these cards so we have the two of cups and the five of swords here so I'll turn it around so that you can see it, but it was it came out reversed in the reading. So this is about the honeymoon period is over, and this this in fact happens in all relationships. If you go out with someone long term, you live with someone long term, or like these have been married, you know, three years. So, you know, of course it will have gone off by now. So that's not a surprise. Um, it's really how you handle it once the honeymoon period is gone. For anyone who doesn't know what the honeymoon period is, it's where you see all the good in each other and you don't see each other's faults. Once the honeymoon period goes, you see each other for who you really are and you see all your faults, each other's faults and things. And depending on how your partner is, it's whether you can stick it or not because that's why some relationships end after the honeymoon period because they take their rose tinted glasses off and see the person for who they really are and if that person is behaving badly obviously um someone would have to leave the relationship but um if if there are things that are okay laughable not too bad obviously you can get on with it and say well none of us are perfect but obviously you have to draw the line if someone's doing things out of, that are out of order so we'll find out um there is some negative energy uh here 
and yeah there's feelings of resentment so this was reversed I'll, I'll put it around the way it was um so i do feel they've overcome um some obstacles in the marriage because it, it's difficult they were very young they got married and they didn't know what to expect or what was going to happen so of course they had some problems but they have overcome some of them um but justin isn't as happy as he should be so so for some reason when they have arguments they're not talking about things or they're not talking about things enough they're not really getting to the bottom of things whatever's causing the arguments so this is causing the feeling of resentment and there's um and this is in justin so there's a continuous cycle of resentment because of this so this is why um this card is reversed because the relationship is out of balance so i do feel that they kiss and make up after brooding on things for a while but they're not talking about things in a relaxed manner um so that they can repair the problems so what i'm getting is then they go through um a good time a good cycle or whatever you want to call it where they are getting on all right but these things resurface into another argument because they're pushing them down inside that could be justin um because he's very emotional yeah and so and so it goes on um so that's why they row. They have periods of good time and then they have periods of quite bad rows and he feels the resentment in this marriage. Um, so I do feel that they're two very different personalities, uh, two very different types of people with uh, different interests and different needs. Um, so what I think would really help them is have more time to themselves so they need some time apart to have time you know to have some time to themselves and i feel like if they do that they're going to bring more to the relationship and you know that will stop a lot of this as well um because you know it's if you have time apart to do what you want uh more then that stops um resentment building up yeah and if you have too much time together you can become codependent which isn't good either so yeah so this is fixable and um, the next card is the five of swords which is also reversed so this means they have i'll put it around the right way so you can see it as well they have been trying to overcome um challenges it's not like they haven't worked to their relationship because they have um so they're trying to let bygones be bygones with you know arguments or issues and they are learning to communicate better so they talk more than they did uh, when they first got married um, so they are learning about each other and how um, to nurture this relationship more but um, I feel like there's still some work needed um, on this relationship to make it work so and we all have to work at our relationships um to make them work it's not just these two um this is why people split up and get divorced because um they they just stop working at their relationship i mean other people get 
get divorced for other reasons that they're just not compatible but you know if if you want to stay and make a relationship work then um there's a lot of time and effort needed so i'm just going to take my cards again and give them a shuffle and see um if there's anything else bothering justin um is there anything else um that just this troubling justin um is there anything else that's on justin bieber's mind Please tell us anything else that's on Justin's mind. So, put these to one side. So, we have the Queen of Cups, and I'm seeing Selena. So, this relates to Selena. So, what I'm getting is Justin wants some sort of contact with Selena. He wants them to be friends. He feels guilty. Um, I think that he got married quickly and didn't have a chance to explain things to Selena. And if he could have contact with Selena, he'd be a lot happier in himself. The thing is, Selena's his ex, and you know, I I don't think that this will go down well with um, Haley, and I can see why. I mean, most women don't want their husbands in contact or having some sort of friendship with an ex, but this is a little different. Um, Justin and Selena, I don't know what it is. I'm not talking about them having a romance. I'm just talking about they, you know, they just really got each other um, and understood each other. So I think he'd like that back in his life, um, that sort of friendship. But um, but what I do, do get is that um, Hayley's not going to agree to that at the moment and i do understand that i mean it's a really difficult situation uh when someone wants to be friends with their ex so and i do feel that um hayley keeps tabs on selena in on social media just so that um justin and Selena don't bump into each other because that could be awkward for everybody if Justin and Haley are together and they bump into Selena mm, what would they say you know it'd be difficult so there's that situation on Justin's mind talking he wants to speak with selena so uh, i don't know how they're going to handle that but i feel like that needs to be sorted out so i'm just gonna get my cards again and um see how um Hayley feels about um, her marriage to Justin, so how does Hayley, Hayley Baldwin Bieber, how does she feel about her marriage to Justin Bieber? How does Hayley feel about her marriage to Justin?
how does Hayley feel about her marriage to Justin? So we have Ten of Cups and the Lovers. So I feel like she idolises Justin. So this is like Haley's dream come true. I mean, as you can see on this card, the couple here, happy, the house, it's the whole wish fulfilled dream and she feels like she's living her dream um so yeah she she does think the world of justin so that that's good i mean she really loves him and um as you can see there's children playing here um with their parents looking lovingly and proudly towards them so yeah, I feel like um, this is this is the next step for them. They'd love a family. Yeah, they'd love to have a child. Um, so I think Justin feels that um, that would make him happy. You know, having the child and the whole family. The whole family unit that he didn't have as a child so he really wants that and uh yeah i think i do think justin likes the stability of being married and they do have some good times together but um there needs to be more communication between these two because they're such opposites. And Justin being a Pisces and very emotional, he's got a lot of emotional needs that need to be seen to and um, he needs a relationship that nurtures his emotional needs. Um, so... This is what they've got to focus on. I just think Haley's Haley is fine, you know. I mean, she doesn't like arguments when they argue, but you know, when things are good and Haley's just fine fine with it. She can this is her dream come true and she looks forward to the future. So I think she's quite a positive person. But um Justin can have his negatives as we see here so Hayley needs to um, just understand how to nurture his emotional needs um, so that you know he can feel a bit happier I mean obviously he does have his happy times because they have times when they're fine but they're in this cycle and then they get into these arguments again and there's things not not being said things being bottled up um a lot of people do this in marriage you know because they don't want to rock the boat too much and i think he doesn't want to upset hayley so he doesn't always um, communicate his needs within this marriage. So, yeah, so maybe some marriage guidance when they get in these cycles of these arguments um, would certainly help them. Bit of therapy, never hurt anybody. So, anyway, I'm just going to get my oracle cards and give them a shuffle future messages for Justin and Haley. future messages for Justin and Haley.
future messages. Justin and Haley. Future messages. Justin and Haley. that's in focus see that card there so this is about the good times they do have and there is a magnetic bond between these two even so um and that's how they've lasted and they do um They've overcome, you know, some hurdles, which is always good to work on things. And they've grown as people and matured more um, during the marriage. So it has, it has helped them. If you mature and grow, that does help. Um, so I feel like... Um, this is about Justin and he's always looking for the missing piece in his life. Um, he's always looking for that thing that's going to make him feel whole. You know. So. So I feel this relates to Justin and the best way he can make himself feel whole is to look inside his self um he needs to work on self-love um and he needs to examine what is making him feel this way um because it's always inside yourself it's it's not usually to do with someone else um a lot of things are probably to do with his past as well um, he's got things he needs to heal, I feel, from his childhood. So, you know, he needs to spend some time on his own or perhaps counselling. Or just, if he can do it himself, um, look inside himself. Because ha your own happiness comes from inside yourself. So, um, yeah. I feel like he's got to um, love himself more and then um, he's, go he's going to be happier. I mean, he's not unhappy all the time. He has happy time, but he it would help him with what I see in these cards um, when he feels that way, when he feels resentment or um things about his past he's got to look inside and do some healing oops i don't know if you can see that one so th this again is about them being close at times but they need to give each other space and this is important it's important for justin i mean Haley needs her space too but um, I think he's got, he's going to thrive more with that. So, so this is about them letting each other grow as people um, by giving each other space as well. Um, because love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So they'd have more to give in this marriage um, and it would certainly benefit both of them, especially Justin. So, yeah, but.
So, I mean, they're okay. You've just got to work on things when you're in something long term and a, a marriage like theirs. When you get to the three year stage and the honeymoon period is gone, you've got to work on everything and nurture it. So, and just really see what each other's needs are within this marriage and work it out for both of you not just carry on pretend everything's all right and just um not say anything but um yeah this, this is nothing they can't work out and it's it's not huge so i think they'll be fine i wish them all the best and i hope it lasts so that's the end of the reading bye for now Sending you love and light. Bye.